What made Cruise and Meant to Be great songs? And in, in the moment, did you know they were great songs? Um, actually, I did. I didn't. I don't think I did. Especially with Meant to Be, I thought that was a fairly average song. You know, I, I really did. I, and I was sort of like surprised. I remember BB came back the next day because she wanted to f- re-sing the demo and kind of finish a few lines or tweak a few lines. And I was like, wow. Especially in L.A., like, that doesn't happen very often that somebody comes back the next day to want to work on it more. And I thought, interesting, like, feels like a cool song, but I don't really, you know, it doesn't sound, it's not crazy. There's no crazy lyric. There's no crazy turn on the hook. There's no, cra- it's very simple, you know what I mean? And I think there's a lot of beauty and simplicity as well. So that song taught me that. But but ultimately, no, I, I did not. And I think it's the fans, you know. I think it's when you put a song out, I can put out a song that I think is so great and it might connect a little bit, but it's about the fans, man. I mean, if they, and it's hard to really put a a finger on what it is that connects a song with, with the masses or if it just connects with your close fan base. And so uh, that was one of those songs that just kind of had a life of its own once it was released. BB actually put it out first on her little EP that was like six hip hop songs and then, and then uh, meant to be. <laughs> so it really stood out. It was like, what in the world is this on her project? But that was how it got out into the world, and then once it did, it was uh, kind of took on, mm-hmm. took off, you know, and uh, became what it, what it is, you know. And Cruise? Cruise was, I mean, that was so early on in our career, like, I don't even know, we definitely didn't have any idea it would be as big as it was. We thought it was a cool song. We thought it was, I mean, that was just, we were working on our first album. We thought, this song's fun, and it was uh, a bit different. Joey Moy was producing that one for us and really took it to the next level sonically. And we knew well, this sounds fresh and fun. I can't wait to play this live. But did we know it was going to be, you know, a diamond certified, blah, blah, blah? <laughs> no, I, we had no idea. I remember being in the studio and BK being like, bro, I bet this album, I bet this song will sell a million copies. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, there's no way we're selling a million copies of anything. And like, you know, now we're at like 12 million, you know, <laughs> something. <laughs> so it's just like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we we sort of we knew we liked the song, but we had no idea. We couldn't even wrap our head around that kind of magnitude, you know, at that time. 